Hey guys, welcome to Absolute Mathematics. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. I'm pretty busy lately, but uh, I did receive an email. Someone was asking me if I could explain to them logarithms, and I remember having... I remember it being a bit confusing in a high school, so I thought why not make a video to help all those people that were like me back when I was in high school. So I do have quite a bit to cover. I've already tried making this video, but it ended up being really long, so I'm trying to go through it a bit faster. So if ever it's going too fast, just pause, read it out, rewind, watch it again. It should make sense. All right, let's get started. So what are logarithms? I'm going to read the definition and then we'll go through it with an example. Uh, the log, log is short for logarithm. The log of an argument is the exponent by which the base must be raised so that it equals the argument. Okay, looks confusing. It's not really confusing, it's just because there's a bit of new language to you guys here. But we're going to clear that up. So basically, the log of an argument, all this means, this sentence right here, is this. So when you take the log of an argument, it equals something. So basically, our log of this argument is going to be, this is how you write it, but this is the answer to it. Alright, so x is our solution to that. So we can write x here, because that represents x is the exponent, so you guys all know an exponent is a power, right? 8 to the power 2, the 2 here is the exponent, by which the base must be raised. Okay, this is where the new language comes in. The base. This little 2 here, it's a little subscript 2, this is what's known as the base. Okay? So basically, what this is saying is that the log of an argument, so the answer, to our log is the exponent by which the base must be raised. So we know our base is raised to an exponent, x, and it must be raised so that it equals the argument. So this has to equal something. What is the argument? Here's a second bit of new language. The argument is this number right here the number that you're actually taking the log of. So, the log of the argument, the solution, is the exponent by which the base must be raised so that it equals our argument, and our argument is 8. Okay, well look, we took something that was once very complicated to you guys, or maybe most of you guys, I shouldn't say all, but something you might have not understood before, this, this notation right here, and then we put in a form that most of you probably now understand. You're like, okay, 2 to the power will give us 8. And most of you guys will know that 2 to the 3 will give us 8. So there you go. This is telling us that the answer x, the log of an argument, is the exponent. And we found that our exponent is 3. So the answer to log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. And that's all it is. Okay, we just took something that might have been a little complicated before. We put in a form that you now understand, and there's your answer. All right, so that's all there is to it. It's just like taking exponents. If you've never seen exponents before, let's take this one. 2 to the 3. Well, when you first saw this, it might have been like, I have no idea what that means. But then your prof tells you this just means 2 times itself three times and then you're like well I know how to do multiplication so I can do this and you know that it's eight alright so we're taking this we're putting in a form that you understand and then you can solve the problem okay I think a lot of people are thrown off because in our other and other things we learned in math previously like if we take the square root we have one nice little sign for it Whereas when you take the logarithm of a number, it seems kind of long, and you have two different numbers here. You have an x on the other side, and you have a word instead of just a symbol. So I think that's what confuses people, but don't be confused. Just like the square root means 64 to the 1 half, you can write this in a different form in this form that you guys will understand. Alright, so... 
Let's go on, do some examples, and I want to point out some important logarithms that you might see later on. So, just to continue, we're going to start with log, log base 10 of 100 is equal to x. Okay, now remember, to find the solution, we're going to take the base. So the base is 10, it's right here, it's this little number. And the base to the power x is equal to 100. So the base to the answer is equal to the argument, okay? So 10 to the power of what gives us 100? Well, everyone knows that 10 squared is equal to 100. So we just found our x. So the solution to this, log base 10 to 100 is equal to 2. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, an important thing I want to point out, in mathematics we have a thing called a common log, a common logarithm. And what this is, is that it's, it's just like any other logarithm, but it's our most commonly used, and that's log base 10 of a number. Okay? But because log base 10 is so common, people have stopped writing the base 10, so it's just log of x. So whenever you see log of a number and there's no base, you, have, you assume the base to be 10. Okay, it's just, it's just how it is. You, just, you know it's base 10 and people have just stopped writing it. Okay, so unless a base is written there, you're always going to assume the base to be 10. Let's do another example. So let's say I take um, log base base 4 of 64, alright, is equal to x. So we're going to take the base, base to an exponent to the power of x is equal to 64. Okay, so 4 to the power of what is going to give us 64? This might take a little more thinking, but you guys can still do it, right? You guys know that 4 squared is equal to 16. And then 4 to the third, well, you times 16 by 4 again. You get 10 times 4, that's 40. Plus 4 times 6 is 24, and then you get 64. Oh my goodness, 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64. And that's exactly what you're looking for. So you know that log base 4 of 64 is equal to 3. Alright. Let's do another example. Um, log of 1000. Okay, what does this equal? Well, remember, when there is no base, and I didn't put a base here, we take it as a common logarithm. And the common logarithm has a base of 10. So it's 10 to the x is equal to 1,000. And we know that 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1,000. Therefore, log of 1,000 is equal to 3. Uh, the way I like to think of this as, like sometimes you'll, you might get confused by the order. If you want, you can just bx, the base to the power of x is equal to the argument. If that helps, bah, then you got an x up there. Or what I like to do is I just... If we write it out completely, I like to think that, well, this might be x, but you can just sneak that x right between the two, and then you'll have a 10 exponent x, and then just imagine an equal sign. I don't know, I, I always thought that helped for me. You would just sneak in the x between, and then you have this, instead of like shifting everything around, in case you can't remember what order it goes in. Uh, my time's almost up. I want to talk about one more thing. Maybe I'll make a secondary video because this one was pretty intro, so maybe some people skipped it. In the second one, I'll talk about different things. Just one last thing, though. I talked about the common logarithm. It's where it has a base 10, but no one writes it. There's also another logarithm. It's called the natural logarithm. Okay, and what this is, what it looks like is it just has an ln, okay? 
and the natural is obviously for the n and logarithm is for l. And the difference between this one and other logarithms is that this one is actually equal to log base e. Okay, and e, don't, don't get scared, e is just a number that equals approximately 2.718. All right, so we can take this and write it as ln. And you might use this, don't be scared, it's just like any other log. Um, and mostly with problems like this, you're gonna be using e, so you don't really have to worry. They'll put trick questions like ln of e. And this looks really complicated, but if we write it in the log form, you have log e of e, and this is equal to what? Well, remember when we're solving for a log, we basically take the base to the power of what is equal to the argument. Well, e to the power of what is going to give itself? Well, any number to the power of 1 gives itself. So the answer to ln of e is, is just 1. Okay, in my next video, uh, this one's already getting a bit long, so I'll end it here, but in the next one I'll talk about more complicated examples, graphing the logarithmic uh, function in the xy plane, and just where we use these, what, why, why we even bother using these. Alright, thanks for watching.